Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on Imagine Again. You feel very proud of that performance. Oh, different class. I thought for the first first half especially we should have been four up. Um, the referees probably made a mistake with two penalties, which were, were penalties. Um, <clears throat> they're going to have a little spell in, in the game, where, which happened the first 15 minutes of the second half. But, um, you know, Vigory pulled off a good save, which hits the post and go back. But the amount of counter-attacks at the end when we should have we should have really sealed it. But, yeah, for men against boys, uh, first half. Very academy-like them. Um, I'm praying that they don't bring Matt Smith on for the last 20 minutes and put it on us because we're not the biggest team, but couldn't believe that they obviously didn't come on. And it made it made it seeing the game out pretty comfortable. And a goal and an assist for Will Saturio. Yeah, very good. I know what you're gonna say. I know they're all gonna say he can play up front, I know. Um but listen, he still changes the dynamics of us sometimes I don't like it. So listen, he was brilliant today. Um <clears throat> and I said after the Swindon game, when Swindon bought their makeshift back four for the first time, the first one's easier. So they, they, they only conceded one against us and it was pretty resolute and, and organised. The week after they conceded four away at at Rochdale, so the first one for Sully is, you know, enthusiastic. He's playing; it's a new position. And it, but obviously, as the weeks go by, I like it. I do like a centre forward that does certain things. But he could have an hat trick today. I thought his finish was really, really good. He's, he was a menace. And it was a wonderful team move that led to the opportunity for George Monk. Yeah. So <clears throat> if if you don't listen, they're a good footballing team. They've got good players. But if you win the ball in the middle of the pitch. They lack mobility, they're open, and if you get one pass through it, you can obviously get on their back line, which happened numerous times again. Um, we just thought, you know, with their mobility in the middle of the pitch, we'd have too much for him, and I thought, especially first half, that was the case. Salford so scored more goals than anybody else in League Two, so the satisfaction from the clean sheets got to be even bigger as a result. But Dave, I watched team just sit off him. They sit off him. Mansfield so passive, sit off him. You come in, you get in the faces, and you, t- and you, and you test them. Um, I'm not even funny. If I could play midfield still, if, if people go, OK, we're just going to sit off you. I can spray it around. I can't do this. can move. I can't move. So, listen, we got up against him again. I think the first goal was where we were really aggressive. When our full-back goals and our centre-half sl- slides and we leave Hendry 1v1 um, with, with Bex. But again, I, we, literally the unity and the spirit that we've got. The play, I've, I sensed before the game that our players were really focused and, um, and it's just a tribute to them. Every, every week, you know, we've had a few blips. But every week they turn up the professional, dedicated to improve. Um, and I can't, fans are brilliant. I'm more pleased for the players because they deserve it. But you know the celebrations at the end, obviously, you know were pretty special as well. And as you say, a team effort. But I thought Wob Hunt was outstanding once more. Different class defending his back post. Bolton is a threat. He gets to the byline. He's a good player. Um, and when he's putting balls in, Hunt is defending, and it's his job to defend the back stick. Um, he was one where McAlenny's obviously left right footed. We don't want him coming inside because he can be lethal from that from that type of area. Um, but I thought Hunty, you know, his positioning, especially at the back stick, was, was very, very good. Two huge results, very significant results now against uh, two sides with genuine promotion ambitions. <coughs> yeah, I mean I come in for stick for the Hartlepool result. It's a good point now, isn't it? Hey, they won again today. I thought Hartlepool were a decent team and we just needed we played at, at, we went through a spell where we played Crawley, Rochdale. Um, and a few other teams down there and we just needed I could see them just going into lethargic mode um, and we needed that that Carlisle game just to stimulate us um, and, and obviously it's worked First time that the O's have won at Moor Lane I would imagine you'd take particular satisfaction No listen I, people can I've seen Gary's tweet three four weeks ago where I had the biggest budget in the league here I didn't I hadn't I inherited the biggest budget you know and I think Probably 60% of them players now are playing in either non-league or, or the bottom half of League Two. So I think my recommendations were, were right. So listen, he's made a judgment that I wasn't good enough to manage his club. So we, we, didn't, we move on. I wish him all the best. I like Woody. I think he's a good coach. Um, and they've changed direction in terms of the recruitment because now they've got technical footy players and they're, and they're, they're a good footy team um, if he stayed passive against them. But um, no, it's my local club. I wish him, I wish him well. But listen when you treat it like I did and I didn't think I was given the best shot how anybody can say I was given a shot is everybody else was given 3 million 4 million 3 million I was given 50p and a bag of crisp and I you won a nothing. trophy I spent nothing and you won a trophy you won't see the trophy in there though. They, got, they got all the others but not the Papa John's no it was, it, listen it was sweet and I enjoyed it at the end because I went through a little bit of a rough spell here and I don't think I was I was treated right you know Matt's behind you so I won't be embarrassing but I like to think that the board here and, and the relationship we've got with Lingy and, and, and Matt and, and Nigel and Kent is, is a fantastic relationship and obviously it's working really well in tandem. It's going to be a very different test now on Monday. 
Harrogate? But again, we need to keep to the basics. We need to just stay focused. Um, because they're fighting for their lives. I've, I've obviously, Hartlepool have won, so I think there's one point in it. We're going to get a, a team that has, has frets um, and they're going to come here fighting for their lives. So we need, we need to be on our toes. We need to be ready. Um, I honestly believe that no, no, no game is easy. I think in the last, <clears throat> in the last probably 10 games, Rochdale in the last 20 minutes was really, really tough. Um, and Hartlepool away was really, really tough. And both of them teams are, are right, are right in there because they come up with systems and they just broke body falls and they're going to go and they go for it and they cause you problems so I think every team in this league is well coached um, so they can make it difficult with, for you so we just need to concentrate on what, on what we're going to do And what will your attacking options be because there are no strikers on the bench today Well Kelvin will be back from, from suspension um, Driz has an outside chance of, of making it um, and we was leggy you know we, we asked our front players to work a lot today so Sad was leggy Paul Smith was, was leggy so obviously Duke come on and done a job in the last 10, 15 minutes. Um, but it didn't look like we was we were short on strikers. Our fluidity at times was really, really good. Um, and again, it's just a testament. I keep saying to everybody, the way that we're well trained is a proper player in there. Um, and he took that training into the game today and, and I thought it was outstanding. Is it a hamstring injury for Aaron Joyner? Um Yeah, it's a slight one. So it's not, it's one of the most, um, the lesser ones we've obviously got. Jordan Lydon wasn't in the squad today. He's 12 weeks, so he's done his hamstring um, severely. So he, he, his season will be done. But um, obviously we've got good options with Brownie and, and with Craig Clayton. And I thought Pratt was outstanding today. You know, I brought Pratt off. It's never nice to bring your captain off and a good lad like Pratt. But I thought we improved for bringing Pratt off on on um, on Saturday. But what a response today! He was everywhere, winning second balls, dominating midfield. So I'm really pleased for him as well. And finally, you've already mentioned over 700 made the journey. No, great atmosphere out in the sun. Um, I think at times we played some really, really good football, and then at times we had to we had to dig in and defend our box, which is only natural um, at this level. Um, I thought we got the balance right, and, and obviously the scenes at the end. Um, like I said, we've got something special going. Them supporters are a different class, and if we can continue it and enjoy these next five and six weeks, just keep keep supporting us, keep demanding off us, um, because we'll be we'll be we've set standards now, and we won't we won't drop below them. Thank you.